Both photographers Paul Caffell and William Ingram have recently revived a process called platinum printing. Positive images on metallic platinum. When finished, each print has the depth, tone and characteristics of a charcoal drawing. The results are unlike any other. Whilst preparing for a recent exhibition of her 60s work at the Royal Photographic Society, Linda McCartney decided to reproduce some of her work in this style. Oh, yes. I remember seeing him down the Bag of Nails first time he played in London. Really? Just shambled up on stage and this disappeared. Very loud and very beautiful. We met at the Bag of Nails, but also you saw it. Sergeant oh, Pepper had played. He got the album Sergeant Pepper and he was so turned on by it. Mm. You, you went to see he him. Did, yeah, he was playing on the Savile Theatre in London on the Sunday night. And we'd released Sergeant Pepper on the Friday. Mm. And he opened his mm. show with it on the mm. Sunday night. So he must have learned it. <laughs> <laughs> Overnight. We just loved yeah. it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But it's such a tribute, you know. It's like yeah. the best feel compliment like... I've ever been paid, I think. You know. Photography was my fantasy and whoever I was photographing their fantasy as far as life went, really. my special moments but I had no idea that, it, that they would all become so famous and therefore I'd be the one with the photographs I and mean, I just never thought about it There's a belief in Linda that anything that involves camouflage, anything that involves intrigue, anything that involves uh, pretense or superficiality, she doesn't really want to have anything to do with. So not only is what you see also what you get, but what you hear is also what she thinks. My photography is me. I'm not influenced at all by, by critics. I mean, I'm not the kind of person that say, oh, she only uses natural light. I wouldn't go out the next day and buy lights, you know? No, I'm not at all like that. I mean, I, I will not change the way I dress because people don't like the way I dress, you know? I don't shave my legs. They've made such a bloody big deal about the fact that I don't shave my legs. Give me a break. I read, I read an interview recently. I mean, I, I sort of avoid them, but sometimes you can't miss them. Oh, well, they say, you know, she doesn't shave her, her hairy legs. I mean, give me a break. You mean I'm natural? You mean Jesus Christ was natural because he had long hair? No, I think we're a little away of what life is about. <laughs> 